I just wanted to give some tips on how to create full browser window maps. And one reason people don't do this is because we've become quite accustomed in the GIS world to having kind of what I call a fragmented layout where we have a title on the top and a legend on the bottom and we kind of compartmentalize all of our different map elements. And that might work well on paper sometimes, although it's still not my favorite there even. But in web mapping, particularly now that mobile devices are used more than desktop computers, it's really important to create a fluid layout. And so it's, it's crucial that you put all of your map elements and all of your HTML elements and, and anything you want to say, including titles and sources, on top of the map. And so what I'm going to show you how to do today is A, make sure that your map takes up the whole screen, and B, uh, create divs and make them float on top of your map and float in the same place no matter where someone pans on your map. So let's get started. Thanks to uh, one of my students this semester, Angela Wilson, I'm using basically her default base map for this uh, experiment, but uh, a lot of this code is hers. So what I'm going to do here is what I have, let's, let's just uh, preview this map. So we have West Africa here, and um, so we're going to map Ebola cases. And right now they're not showing up, but here we go. Looking good. Um, info window needs some work, but not a big deal. That's not what this is about. So what we have is a div down here called Time Slider. That's nice. We've got some, we can change the layers up here. Zoom bar, legend down there. But notice that we have another div called Title, and it's on the bottom and this creates a slider bar and it's not very nice so I want to show you how to make a title that floats over the map kind of like this this slider area does so let's get to it so in here we have a div and its ID is title let's go to our CSS and um, before I get into that for those of you that don't know how to make the map fill up the whole screen Simply the first line of CSS should be HTML comma body comma um, pound sign map hashtag I guess these days and then you just write width 100 height 100 boom it'll fill up the whole page. All right so let's go down here and give this title div some characteristics. So first thing we want to do is if you want it to not move around uh, and if you want it to be fixed in the browser window, you need to give it a, a position of fixed. And then it gets really interesting. What you can do here is now you tell it, okay, it's going to be fixed. But where is it going to be fixed? We have to put it above the map. Now, there's a bit of CSS called Z-index. And what you can think of the Z-index as is the vertical scaling, the hierarchy, visual hierarchy. So anything with a higher number, it goes from zero to whatever you want, infinity. The higher the number, the higher it will be in your hierarchy. So the map is on zero. Um, all, all divs are on zero. Maybe it's one. I, forget. I think it starts with zero. So any number higher than that will um, be on top. So let's give this a z-index of 10. All right, so let's hit save see what happens here. All right, nothing has really changed. Hmm. You can hit refresh. Nothing has changed too much. Let's see. Well, now we just lost our title. All right. The next thing to do is to tell it where to put this title. And this is simply as easy as saying top, zero pixels from the top, left, zero pixels um, or just zero from the left. Let's hit save. Let's change this to a hundred. We see it up here now. Still not showing up though. Hmm. There we go, I had to write a thousand. What this means is somewhere the map layer was uh, given a Z index. And so until I typed in a thousand, it wasn't higher. Now look, 
Ebola cases in West Africa is over our Zoom bar. That is very confusing and not desirable. It makes it impossible to use this. Now, there are a couple things we can do. We can move the Zoom bar using the leaflet commands, which are pretty simplistic. Or we could just go into the CSS file and tweak this. So top, I think we want to keep it maybe, ah, we could go down like three from the top. But let's try this. From the left, let's go 45 and hit save and go back in here. All right, we're moving her over. And actually looking at that, I think we're going to get rid of the top. Uh, we want to, maybe we could even do minus five to make it go even higher. But let's do 70 here. Save. All right, now we're talking. Actually, I'm going to go even minus. The minus actually moves it. So see how the box around the div is now going off the page. Minus helps you move it off the page. But I want to align it the top of this with the top of the zoom thing. Okay, that's too high. I want this to line up with the top of the E. So let's. I think it's going to be 15. People, it's going to be 15. Let's hit save. Boom, that's pretty good. All right. So now, no matter where I move this map, we've got this title showing up. It's a little small, though. I'd like it more dominant. <laughs> All right, but you can play around with that. So see how this div is now up there. What if we wanted something that went across the whole screen, across the top? So let's say we moved our scale bar. Whoops. That's pretty easy too. Uh, width 100%. See how it goes across the whole screen? So a lot of people, they like to make a div on their web page and they get the slider bar. And they put the title across the whole top and they don't realize they can just have it float on top of the map. What about a background um, color? This is going to be an ugly, ugly color because I'm just randomly picking numbers. But let's give it a point um, 0.6 alpha. Now look, you can scroll the map underneath. Um, you still get that that nice look, we should probably just do closer to black here. Well, it's not closer to black, but there you go. Oh no, the font color. Boom. Or make it white. So you can really do a lot of cool designing um, once you figure out how to put divs over the back of the map. You can even do a, a gradient so it goes from solid to lightening up. Now we'd want to move this uh, zoom bar of course but that's not the point of this. What about um, what about creating a splash screen of some sort? So let's create a new thing called splash. And we can give this a Z index 1001 position fixed top 40% left 50% width auto padding 25 pixels height auto alright oh yeah and a background color of, yeah, we'll just do black again. All right, so theoretically, nothing should appear. Hey, I thought we put something here. Here's the trick. It's auto width, auto height, and it actually doesn't even exist yet. So I hit save. 
Let's go to index and we'll create a new div. ID equals splash. And we'll do an H1. Wowzers. And a paragraph. Hello. Wowzers. And maybe we even put a link. And what I'm thinking here is um, you would want to put a link to maybe a reference where you got the data. So instead of putting all your data stuff on the map, you could have a little button that uh, you know is, is a flash screen and that they can click on or that pops up. make up some stuff here okay so let's see where this is so there it is kind of in the middle what we'd want to do now is also center text align and all that good stuff So, 40% um, down, about halfway through, that's good. Ugly text, so uh, what we'd want to do is uh, color white. And now we're good. So, well anyway, so we've got this. Now, how do we make it turn on and off? There's a little bit of jQuery. I'll be right back. So you didn't think you'd get out of this without any jQuery, did you? You can do almost everything with CSS, but a little jQuery will come in handy. So let's go to our main page here. Do is copy and paste something from Stack Overflow because that's what you should generally do. <laughs> I could write it from scratch, but this really saved me probably about uh, three or four minutes. If we go down to index, what I did is I created a new uh, little feature while well, I hit pause there for a moment and. Uh, I made an ID called sh show splash and I put some text in here called show and I'll, I'll show you what this looks like I'm saying show a lot. And now that's just a little button that says show and then I have the other box that says wowzers. So if I go up here and I go back to um, if I go to my main JS um, and that where I pasted this what we're going to do is simply a, a little switch function. So First of all, we're going to say um, uh, show splash. We're going to tell it to be hidden. So when it starts, we don't want it to be visible. Of course, it's not listening right now, but don't worry about that. Oh, ta-da. Human error. Always human error. So there's nothing here. What we want to do is make it so when we click on this, that button shows up. And when we click on that little button, this shows up. So let's do that. This is pretty easy. First thing first, um, if you click on splash, show, show splash, hide, splash. If you click on show splash, show splash hide show splash and this is how you can create a splash screen very easily that shows up no matter what wherever you want um, and if you had a little X up there that would give them a, a cue so you just embed a little image or if you say click anywhere to turn it off and this is how you can make some splash screens and put a title in there, right? So even if you don't want your title across the top of the screen, this is a great way to embed useful information on your map. Um, and so it also works just like the slider. You can position it absolutely. You could position it in the center of the page. Um, it all depends on you. But let's close it so we can actually see what's going on. And so these are just examples of what you can do. I know it's kind of sloppy, but I'm just off the cuff here. 
And I, I'd like you to start creating full screen apps because there's no reason you can't create a div and even embed another API. If you have a D3 chart you want to include on your map, put it in a div that floats on top of the map and, and really think about um, in old print journalism, they called it underneath the fold. So the newspaper folds in half. And generally, people only read the top half, the top part of the fold of the newspaper. Sometimes they'd flip to the bottom. Um, with, it's very much the same with, with web mapping. If, if people have to scroll down, there's a good chance they'll miss it or they'll get confused and irritated. So try to make, don't think of it as underneath the fold. Everything should be on the top fold. Everything should be on the monitor. And, and that, that's crucial. So I hope this helps, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. Awesome work so far, class, and for those of you watching online, thanks. I haven't done this in a while. Sorry, I'm rusty. Talk to you later. Got to pick up those kids.